In this video, we will create oriented selection sets and modeling groups in the ACP system. The oriented selection set are created to combine the fabric shape coming from the name selection with a reference direction from rosettes. Name a top mold and specify the element sets. The point orientation is the thickness orientation of the structure. Place it onto the top mold and flip the direction to build up the thickness into the mold. Specify left, right and top mold in the rosettes for an evenly distributed uniform fiber direction. Create the following orientation selection sets with their defined rosettes. Top mold, bottom mold, front bulkhead, rear bulkhead, seat reinforcement. Top and bottom side panels. And the wrapping to ensure that everything is connected. The information from oriented selection sets and rosettes is bought together in the modeling groups, through which we can apply the plies onto the shapes. Create a modeling group and name it bottom mold. Create a ply in the modeling group and select bottom mold as the oriented selection set. Define the ply material as structural stack up with two layers. As the bottom mold has a curvature change, use the draping algorithm to account for the change in fiber direction. Turn the type to internal draping, and choose the seed point at the surface of the bottom mold. The algorithm fits the fabric shape across the surface, accounting for draping effects. Add another ply layer of the core material onto the bottom mold. To create the carbon fiber sandwich structure, add two ply layers of the structural stack up after the core layer. The top and bottom mold comprise of total five layers. One layer of core sandwiched in between two layers of structural stack up. To provide extra reinforcement in the front bulkhead, rear bulkhead, seat and side panels. One layer of core is sandwiched between six layers of structural stack up in these areas. And finally, a wrapping of two layers is applied to bond all the components together. Update the model. 
Go to the layup plots and show the thickness. Parts of the chassis have different thicknesses, based on the number of applied plies. Click on the Show Fiber Directions button, to visualize the fiber orientations. The green arrows on the side panel, and bottom of the chassis are at 90 degree to each other, and oriented based on the rosettes. Due to change in the angle of the wrapped geometry, there is an abrupt change of fiber orientation at the corners. Activate the draped fiber orientation. The draping algorithm adjusts this orientation for a smooth transition on the curved surfaces. The blue arrows, correctly predict the change in fiber direction across the curvature, and this draped fiber direction is what gets passed for the mechanical analysis. In the next video, we will look at exporting flat wrap of the carbon fiber, and setting up the mechanical analysis. Thanks for watching.